What's up, Diamond Game family? It's your boy Tree here, and I'm back again with yet another video. Be, 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 be. Cause you're gagging. <laughs> again, and as you guys can see by the title of this video and that thumbnail, I'm back with yet another Jack Grace video. But this is not going to be a video, um, kind of reviewing the episode. This is literally just going to be a video about Dahlia Sin. Cause as you guys know, if you watched Jack Grace last night, which was Friday. Um, that you guys know that Dahlia said was the first queen eliminated from a project at season 12 and I'm heartbroken. So I just decided to come on here and give like a little, I guess, review of all of Dahlia's looks and yeah guys, so if you guys are new here and this is your first time here on my channel, be sure that either right now or at the end of this video that you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on that post notification bell. Um... Go ahead and click that first link in the description box down below and shop with me for all your glasses and lip scrubs. Also, if you guys use code SIN10, you get 10% off of your uh, purchase at checkout. And stay connected with me on all social medias because I'm always active. That's the best place to reach me. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video, you guys. Okay, guys. So before we even get started, uh, for real, for real, I'm going to give you guys just a back a little bit of background on who Dahlia Sin is. For those of you guys that just may not know who she is or... Do not really keep up with RuPaul's Drag Race like that. So, yeah, guys. As you guys know, Dahlia Sin is one of the queens who is on um, season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. She's the stage name of 28-year-old Eric Anthony. Um, also, she's a part of the House of Aja, um, who you guys may know from season 9 and All-Stars 3. Um, and her name comes from the Black Dahlia because she just wanted something that was, like, really... Um, set on her aesthetic of being sexy and mysterious. So, and she sees herself as a dark beauty because she's really tatty, um, you know, gauges, piercings, really just not the typical, like, feminine look, which I think is great. Um, and then her last name, Sin, obviously comes from the seven deadly sins. So, yeah, guys, she's a Brooklyn queen, um, currently residing in Los Angeles, California. And, yeah, guys, that's just a little bit about her. So, yeah, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to put her pictures up on the screen so that you guys can follow along with me and not miss a beat because... <laughs> What is that going to do for y'all? Exactly. So, as you guys know or may not know, um, for Jack Grace this uh, go-round, they decided to do a season 6 spiel and have a two-part episode. That way it gives the judges um, and the world just a one-on-one -on -one with the queens to kind of give us that... I guess that get to know me factor or whatever, just a little bit like just us getting to know the queens a little bit better besides just in the meet, like what we know from Meet the Queens. So, yeah, guys, they did that really cute. Um, so, Dahlia Sand walks was in episode two, so she's in premiere two, and she was the second queen to walk into the workroom. And she's walked in with this like denim Barbie, jailhouse Barbie, Cardi B vibes, giving me all of. Like, the L.A. Brooklyn fantasy, like, I'm living for this look. Um, it was definitely well-constructed. Definitely not too much. Um, still shows her aesthetic of being sexy but fierce. Um, she's giving me, like, I just came here to win. Give me the crown. Don't get in my way. This is definitely a toot. I love everything about it from head to toe. I love how... The blonde hair meshes well with like the denim blues and all that. It was just everything. So, yeah, guys. Okay, guys. So, let's talk about Dahlia's fashion show looks. So, for the fashion show, the girls were um, prompted to come up with two looks, a fall and a spring, and serve in um, RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Week, which I thought was really cute. So, yeah, guys, this green um, dress that Dahlia has on in this picture was for her spring um, collection. And it's giving me really, like, um, first lady vibes. Giving me real um, cocktail party dinner for two vibes. Giving me I run... This company, I own 51% of everything that you're trying to get at. Just giving me real, like, CEO executive vibes. This is really cute. Like, really, really, really well put together. Um, I love the hair. 
I love the shoe. I love the dress. I love the makeup. This was like one of the best looks that I think came from the fashion show. So, yeah, guys. Um, And then moving into her fall look. This look was definitely, definitely, definitely very well constructed. Like, I can see this actually being a look in Fashion Week. Like, in like Paris or like... Milan, you know, like overseas international type joint. This look was very, 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 very cute. Um, I loved everything about it from the moment that she turned that corner. I was like, Yes, sis, serve because this gave me everything. Both looks were definitely a toot, and yeah, guys. Okay, guys, so um, let's move into episode two's maxi challenge so for the maxi challenge the girls were to put a fossey inspired um number together uh called you don't know me and each queen was to write their own verse to basically just give the judges in the world like a little insight on who they are um and so yeah guys i'm going to put the i'm going to put dahlia's clip of her verse in right now and then after it's over we'll come back and talk about it so yeah guys hi boys i don't know you but you definitely know me i grew up in a big city full of sin where everyone knows my name Dahlia. i've won titles sold out venues took their money and their guys and now i'm here to claim my rightful prize the crown. okay guys so as you guys can see, Dahlia is really about being really sexy, really flirty, really like, um, 1-800-COCO. Like, real just wanted to be real sexy, real fierce, and real, like, seductive, which I think is not an issue at all. Like, I really thought that her verse was definitely, um, everything. It definitely kind of did give you the insight on who Dahlia is, what she's about. So, yeah, guys, um, that was definitely really 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 cute and yeah okay guys so let's talk about dahlia's runway look so for this for epi for episode two's runway excuse me um the runway look was tool on the runway and i'm gonna also incorporate her clip right now so that you guys can see that and then we will come back and talk about her look after that so yeah guys <laughs> So, I really thought Dahlia's look was actually really cute. Um, it was definitely... Like, I literally love the kinky boots. Like, it was so cute. I love the red for filth. The hair, the makeup. Like, all of it was absolutely fierce. She did absolutely great putting this look together. Whoever constructed the look for her did absolutely great. It fit her body perfect. It wasn't swallowing her. And, yeah, guys. <laughs> so... With that all being said, Dahlia did survive uh, episode two because there was not an elimination for episode two. So now let's move into episode three of all the queens meeting and everything. Um, I really, really, really was had high expectations for Dahlia going into um, the season only because she is a part of the House of Aja and Aja kind of definitely, you know, made her mark on Drag Race in with well not so much in season nine but definitely when she came back for um all stars she definitely put her stamp on the competition and you know showed us who she was and what she's about and even now she's out there still putting her stamp on the world so i definitely ha had high expectations for dahlia coming in um i kind of wish that in the challenge which was um the world's worst it was kind of just like a play on um American Idol. I kind of wish that she would have stepped out a little bit more um, and not have chosen to be Broccoli. Like, she was in the Fruity Patooties and Broccoli's clearly not a fruit. I don't want to be the one, but I'm going to be the one. So I kind of wish that she would have, you know, re-evaluated before she just chose because I feel like she would have definitely had more of a chance to express that sexiness, express, you know, her seductiveness. So, yeah, guys. 
So, let's talk about her runway look. Um, so, on the runway, as you guys can see, which is right here, the runway theme was uh, ribbon, uh, was buttons and bows, and this was Dahlia's runway um, look. Honestly, truly, I really love this look. I just didn't like the ears on the head. I kind of understand that she was kind of going for, like, bunny vibes, um, and that was, like, you know, really cute. I just wish that she would have... Constructed it in a different way to show the judges, you know, more. Um, her critiques were that, you know, you couldn't really see the hair because all of the colors are so muted and so, like, nude. So, like, you couldn't really see all of what was being worked with. Um, however, I think that the look was absolutely uh, was absolutely gorgeous. And I definitely see what she was trying to go for. Um, so, yeah, guys. <laughs> So, yeah, guys, unfortunately, um, Dahlia Sin did end up in the bottom two on last night's episode against Nikki Doll and was the first queen to sashay away from the competition. Um, as far as her exit, I really wish that she wouldn't have flipped off the queens or had, like, such a bad attitude about it because I really don't, I'm really hoping that that doesn't, you know, ruin her chances of being able to, um, be casted for an all-star season or doesn't like stop her work out in the um, real world because you know once that airs everybody sees it and there's no taking it back so I just kind of wish that she would have did you know something different than to just walk off with such a bad attitude because I really would hate for that to like ruin her chances of being you know featured on an all-star season or you know any opportunities that she gets coming from Drag Race so yeah guys but yeah guys that is all i have for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video which i hope you did make sure that you guys leave this video a thumbs up as well as comment down below any other videos that you guys want to see i will probably do these type of videos for um each eliminated queen just depends on you know how far they go i guess i don't know um but yeah guys um, go ahead and click that first link in the description box down below and shop with me for all your glosses and lip scrubs and make sure that you guys do not miss out on the 10% off with code SIN10. It'll be right there on the screen. Um, and stay connected with me on all social media because I'm always active and that's the best place to reach me. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>